There you are. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Oh, no, no, it's okay. You didn't keep me waiting for too long. I think it's only been about three millennia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm Dr. Dave. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry, did, um, are you a previous patient of mine? I'm sorry, I do apologize if I don't, uh, didn't recognize you at first, unless you're a new patient of mine. I have so many patients across so many timelines. It's hard to keep track sometimes. I hope you'll understand. Oh, I see you happen to have gone on a little trip. Is that right? Yeah. So, uh, where was it this time? Another one of those secret little meetings in a void. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. What what did you acquire this time? Uh, let me guess. Mm. Muffins. No. Um, video game controllers. No, that was the last time. Okay. Well, don't tell me. Let's just keep it a secret. And then for our next regular treatment session, you can tell all, you can tell me all about your little adventure, okay? All right, great. Uh, well, today, you, my dearest patient. Uh, yes, it's true. You and you alone are my favorite patient. I know you might hear a lot of other patients say, that Dave told me I'm his favorite patient. Uh, to a degree. Uh, maybe 62 degrees. That might be correct. But you, my friend. You are my number one favorite. Of all my number one favorite patients. It's true. <laughs> Why, just the other night, I had a dream about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although, you wouldn't have liked it that much. You got eaten by an, uh, a nameless horror. Too horrific to describe <laughs> in English. If I were to describe it in my native tongue, I would say, that's called in the in the personality test. Of course, all the doctors here at Arkham Sanitarium have their own personality test. I'm not sure if you've taken any others. Well, the professor has his own personality test. Corvus, Margaret, Iggy, Kevin, and on and on, Dr. Winslow. And so we all have our own way in determining your type of personality so that we can better experiment on you. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, 
Well, uh, let me ask, have you ever taken a personality test? Yeah? Uh, which one? Meyer Briggs personality type test? Uh, yes. <laughs> Meyer Briggs, two of our favorite patients. I believe uh, Myers was actually recently subjected to uh, being impregnated by a xenomorph egg. And Briggs, I think the last experiment, we uh, disassembled atoms, rearranged them, and put them back together. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, anyway. So, what I have here are a series of questions, just about 60 questions in total, okay? And these are going to help me to assess and uh, pinpoint exactly what type of personality you are, okay? Now, I'm not going to be able to tell you your personality type here today, okay? I'm sorry. I have, I'm visiting uh, all of my patients. I'll be doing this over the next, uh, for centuries. I'm going to be uh, spending the next four centuries visiting all of my patients, conducting this test, and then I'll return back uh, to this particular uh, timeline to input all of the gathered data into our database. And it will be at that point in time when I'll finally be able to tell you your personality type. So as long as you don't mind sticking around for about 400 years, then, uh, well, it'll be here before you know it. Okay? All right. Let's get started then. Let's grab my pen. And all you have to do is try to answer these questions as honestly as you can, okay? All right, very good. Okay, let's get started here. You are almost never late to your treatment sessions. Yes, no, or uncertain. Okay. You like to be buried in Margaret's garden. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You enjoy having a wide circle of unspeakable horrors rather than speakable ones. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You feel involved when watching experiments being performed live on Arkham Sanitarium CCTV. Yes, no, or uncertain. Okay. You are usually the last to react to a sudden event your brain being switched with another patient or waking up in an alternate timeline as another organism. Yes, no, or uncertain. Okay. You 
feel that the world is founded on nothing. Yes, no, or uncertain. Okay. think that everything in the world is simulated, yes, no, or uncertain. Okay. certain about the answer to this statement. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. Strict observance of the established rules at Arkham Sanitarium, such as our 9 p.m. curfew, is likely to prevent attaining a good outcome. Yes, no, or uncertain. Okay. Difficult to get you into a jar. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. When making a decision, you rely more on your indecision than your non-decision. Yes, no, uncertain. Often think about the sanitarium and its trajectory. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. can easily be changed. Yes, no, or uncertain. Okay. You often ponder the root cause of the apocalypse and things. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. series of questions.
you prefer to act immediately rather than speculate about the implications to other patients. Yes, no, uncertain. You trust the professor rather than the entity. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. And don't worry, these answers will be strictly on the public record, okay? You are inclined to rely more on Corvus than on Margaret. Yes, no, uncertain. Spend your leisure time actively socializing with plants, being experimented upon, attending secret meetings, etc., 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 etc. Yes, no. Uncertain. Okay. You usually plan your escape route in advance. Yes. No. Uncertain. Okay. Your phalanges are frequently influenced by your caruncles. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You are a being that is somewhat reserved and distant in etherealization. Yes, no. Uncertain. Okay. You know how to put every finger of your hand into its own sterile container. Yes. No, uncertain. Okay. You often contemplate the complexity of complex contemplations. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. Act 
after prolonged experimentation, you feel you need to get away and be a planet. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. jobs in a disguise. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You easily see the nefarious organization behind specific occurrences. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You frequently and easily express your feelings. Your feelings. You frequently and easily express your feelings. You know, your orange and lemon feelings. When you express them to get out all of the juice and oils, so, you frequently and easily express your feelings. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. series of questions. You find it difficult to scream quietly. Yes, no, uncertain. you have to remain human. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You value nothing rather than anything. Yes, no, Uncertain. Okay. You rapidly get involved in the social life of a new patient. Yes. No. Uncertain. Okay. The more experiments performed on you, the better you feel. Yes, no, uncertain.
void rather than on your collection of small animal bones. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. As a rule, you proceed only when you have a clear and detailed dagger. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. with the concerns of other garden test subjects. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. Often, you prefer to read eldritch texts than to go to the Arkham Sanitarium Amusement Park. Yes, no, uncertain. personally love the sanitarium amusement park. Corvus, on the other hand, he hates scary rides. <laughs> okay. You are more inclined to decline than to recline. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You are strongly touched by the stories about Margaret's troubles. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. Just two more pages of questions to go. Nameless things seem to you to be of relative rather than absolute importance. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You prefer to isolate yourself from the other patients. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. For you, it is easier to gain arcane knowledge through hands-on experience than from ancient texts found in deep, forgotten ruins. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You think 
that almost anything can be nothing. No, uncertain, yes. Okay. certain that the answer to this statement is yes, yes, no, or uncertain. Okay. For you, being subjected to random experiments is better than not being subjected to random experiments, good or bad ones. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You take pleasure in putting things in wormholes, not the holes made by worms in the ground, but the wormholes in space. Yes, no, uncertain. You take pleasure in putting things in wormholes, not the wormholes in space, but the holes created by worms in the ground. Yes, no, uncertain. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You have good control over your doppelganger and familiar. Yes, uncertain, no. Okay. You easily understand eldritch texts and rituals. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You usually place yourself nearer to the sky than to the bottom of the ocean. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. When traveling through a rift, you would rather follow a familiar route than seek a new one. Uncertain, no, or yes. Okay. You are uncertain.
certain about your answer to the previous statement. Yes, no, uncertain. A thirst for forbidden knowledge is something close to your spleen. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. And now the final series of questions. When considering a sandwich, you pay more attention to the bread and less to the available condiments. Yes, no, uncertain. When exploring the crypts beneath Arkham Sanitarium, you always bring a torch and plenty of rations. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You find it difficult to talk about your pet shagas. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. Your decisions are based more on the amount of unspeakable horrors in the vending machine than the lack of security in the undead ward after sunset. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You prefer to spend your leisure time being beaked by Corvus, yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You feel more comfortable sticking to the ceiling, yes, no, uncertain. You are easily affected by strong winds. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. You are always looking for rats in the walls. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. As a rule, the lack 
book of Margaret visits worry you more than your next treatment session? Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. It's funny, so many patients have trouble communicating with the dead. I think it has to do with that cultural barrier, the, the language of the dead. I mean, that's not, you know, too difficult to master. But just trying to understand the dead as the people that they are, you know, a lot of people just have that difficulty, you know, relating with the dead. Okay, next question. You rarely deviate from your own timeline. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. yourself in matters which engage your pineal gland. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. Okay, and the last question from my personality test. You easily perceive various ways in which new plagues could develop. Yes, no, uncertain. Okay. All right, my friend. That's going to do it for the personality test. Now, like I said, as much as I wish I could have the time to go over all the questions and let you know what your personality type is, I'm a little pressed for time and I have many timelines to jump to and so many personality tests to administer that I won't be able to tell you what personality type you are or what kind of Dave's personality type you are, okay? But I promise, give me 400 years and I'll be back to give you that and we'll, you know, we'll talk about it, go over your answers and everything, okay? All right, but at least you know the, we went over the test, and now you can just patiently wait for the results, okay? Okay, now, my favorite patient, it's time for you to return to your slumber, okay? Thank you very much for participating and taking my test. <laughs> Not like you had any choice, but still, okay? Now, sleep, sleep. And so that you, the good, the good, the 
Thank God,